Hey friends, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another little haul for you guys. This one is a pretty small haul. Um, I picked up a few things from Butterfly Reflections Inc. that caught my eye and I wanted to share those with you before I repackage and start using them. So I'm just going to set everything off to the side and we'll go through everything one by one. So we'll jump into the stamps first. Oh, and by the way, I do have a question for you guys regarding some future videos. So stay tuned to the end for that, okay? I said the first thing that I picked up was this adorable stamp set from Avery L called Jawsome Wishes. Um, I've told you guys before, my brother is a deep sea diver and he loves to swim with sharks so I love to have little shark images and this one is super cute I think this is going to make some really fun birthday cards I love the little cake and the party hat the balloon and then you get some really great sentiments so there's um, some that you can use on the outside and the inside which is always really nice there's some little wave lines and bubbles just very very cute and I did, of course, pick up the matching dies to go along with that. And then I also picked up one stamp set from Mama Elephant. It is a fall-themed stamp set, so it's a little bit early, but I just couldn't resist this one. It's called Hey Pumpkin, and we've got all of these cute little critters with their pumpkins. I think these scenes are super adorable. I am in no way ready to create fall cards, so I will be hanging on to this one for a little bit. I am totally in the summer zone right now, but I just thought it'd be nice to, to have it, and that way I can start thinking ahead towards fall cards when I'm ready and I don't have to scramble for supplies. So I did pick up the matching dies to go along with that. I think this is gonna be so much fun to use. That was it for the stamp sets. I did get one paper pad and it was the Doodlebug My Happy Place paper pad. And I apologize, I didn't even open this yet. So let me just quickly slit that open. I always um, pull the front cover up and then just slice the, um, the sticker there with a um, little tool and then um, I can wrap that sticker on the back side and that just keeps all that sticky part away from the paper but anyway uh, I thought the color palette was really fun on this one I really love the pinks and yellows with the aqua and the pale green and then you've got pops of black and white in there so some really fun little like homey icons there's houses and couches and chairs TVs cars little dogs sleeping all kinds of fun things in there. Wheelbarrow, flowers, really, really cute. And then on the back you have some little cut aparts. There's a black and white polka dot, a really teeny tiny floral print in that color palette. And then we have some nice stripes. There's some more little cut aparts and also some sentiment strips. And then we have a aqua blue uh, is it a polka dot? It's so hard to see. It's super tiny, whatever it is. I'm not 100% sure. I have to wear glasses now and I can't, can't tell when I'm not wearing them. Um, it might be a polka dot. Or dashes. I don't think it's dashes. But anyway, it's very, very small. It kind of reads as a polka dot if it's not. Um, so that's just like a darker blue on the aqua and then on the back you have tiny little coffee mugs and then there's some stripes of flowers and cacti super fun then we have green leaves and black and white diagonal stripes little cars and there's another pretty floral I really like this one some wide stripes, that would be so pretty on a card. Little houses and trees. And there is a tone on tone tiny floral print on pink. And then white polka dots on a yellow background. Really pretty plaid. Some bicycles. 
And then there's another tone on tone aqua print with those little, um, I forget what that is called. Is it quatrefoil? I think that's what it's called. And then there's tiny little pink on pink hearts. And then there's some strips that you can cut apart and use in different ways. And then a tiny floral again on a black background. And then that one's interesting. If you're doing square cards, you could use that whole thing with the little border. And then the center is a black on white polka dot. And then the pad repeats. So if you missed my last haul video, which was um, Monday, then I also went through four different paper pads and gave you all of my best tips for what I look for when I'm purchasing paper pads and also examples of how to mix and match patterns and layer patterns and I shared card samples and everything in that video so if you're curious about how to mix pattern paper or you want to use more pattern paper but you're just not sure how to incorporate them on a card check out that video a lot of people have been saying they found it really helpful so maybe you will too so there's that I also picked up um, two more of the Ranger mini ink blending tools I went ahead and got two more of these I use my Distress Oxide inks a ton, and I hate having to switch out my tools very often because the the little pads, the little cotton or whatever they are, foam blender pads, they get ripped up after a while when you keep switching them out, you know, tearing off that Velcro. So I thought it would be nice to have a couple of more uh, tools so I don't have to switch out quite as often. Because um, usually when I do use the inks, I use several colors at once, and it's nice to have maybe, I don't know, I think this will give me maybe 10. I'm not sure if I have quite 10, maybe 8, 8 or 10 different ink blending tools. So I definitely won't have to switch out as often, which is a good thing. And then I also picked up a pack of the Brutus Monroe Acetate. So I just recently made a shaker card using Lawn Fawn and I was using the last bits of my acetate. I only had like a small little piece left. Um, so I wanted to pick up some more acetate and Vanessa was sold out of the Lawn Fawn acetate that I usually get. So I decided to give this one a try. It has four sheets in there. So I think this is gonna be good. I think. Pretty much all acetate is probably created equal. Some may be a little bit thinner or thicker than others, but it's going to do the job for shaker cards, I'm sure. So I went ahead and grabbed that. So that's everything. I told you guys this was a pretty small haul, but I thought I'd go ahead and share it with you. I'm actually going to have a card making video for you guys tomorrow. I'm going to have a bonus video on Saturday. So you're going to get three videos this week, so that's always fun. Um, so yeah, I thought it would be a good time to just go ahead and share these things and not have to wait so long. Like I did in my last video, sometimes when I only have a few things, I'm not as sure if you guys are interested. So I try to save up until I have a good bit of things if I can. But I just haven't been shopping as much lately. I'm, my husband and I are planning an anniversary trip um, somewhere fun this fall. And so I've really been saving my money for that. And I just haven't been spending it as much on craft supplies. So yeah, so I don't know when I'm going to purchase anything new. Um, so that's why I went ahead and just shared it with you now, um, especially because I really want to use this stamp set fairly soon since it is more of a summery theme. So, so that was my haul, but hang around for another second because I have a question for you guys. So I have been wanting to use up some of these images that I have in this little dish that I made at the pottery studio that I work. Um, I keep pre-colored images in this little dish next to my dead uh, desk. A, a lot of them are from the daily marker coloring challenge. Um, some of them are from previous like Hello Bluebird releases where I was just coloring up images to 
play with them you know right away in fact I even have like another sheet here of some images that I colored um, using this same stamp set here um, I just wanted to try it in different color palettes and things and then um, if I don't plan a card using it first then I don't end up using them. That's just the way my brain works. I have to plan out the whole card or they just sit here and sit here. I mean, honestly, look at that guy. I bet he's been in this dish for probably four or five years. I'm not even joking. Like there are some images in here that are super old and every once in a while I'll decide to like go through them and try to make a couple of cards, but I really don't make very many cards off camera because I don't know like I just filming takes up a lot of my work week and I usually am filming at least three days a week sometimes four days a week because it's not only my channel I also film for MFT's channel for Long Fawn's channel you know and I'm filming ahead of time and stuff like that and sometimes I have bonus videos because of different events going on so um, and I work a part-time job as well, so, you know, I just don't have a lot of time to create if it's not for a video, I guess I would say. So, I've been, you know, kind of getting tired of these images sitting here on my desk being unused, staring me in the face and making me feel guilty. So, I decided that I was going to try to pull out some of these images and make a few cards. So, I was going to do that the other night, and then I thought, you know what? I wonder if I could turn this into a video. I'm not really sure if you guys would be interested in it because usually most of the people who come to my channel come for the coloring and obviously these images are already colored. So I'm not sure if that would interest you or not, but if it would, if that sounds like something cool, like going through old colored images, I mean, yeah, these astronauts have probably been in there over a year I mean um, there's a lot in there that's been a long time now so if if that would interest you you know just kind of seeing me sort through the images and seeing what cards I can create using pre-colored images let me know I actually even have some pre-colored backgrounds that I've also done that have just been sitting in my stash for a really long time and so I would probably try to use the ones that maybe go with those, try to see if I can combine them and maybe do a couple of cards in one video. I also am not sure if that one would be more casual style like these hauls and like my art journaling where I don't do a voiceover. Probably it would lend itself a little bit more to that style that would make more sense to me. I feel like doing a voiceover later would be harder but um, it probably wouldn't be quite as polished of a video because there would be less editing. So there may be times where I would be kind of moving things around and not really sure what to use where, you know, and kind of like figuring it out in real time. Um, so it wouldn't be sped up at all is what I'm thinking. So I don't know if that appeals to you or not, but I would really love your opinions. So let me know if you're interested at all in that type of video. If not, I'm just going to do them off screen or, or whatever. So anyway, um, that is one thing that is coming up on my channel. If you guys are interested, another thing I wanted to ask you guys about was um, I've had a lot of requests for, well, I should put something here for you guys to look at, huh? This is probably boring just staring at my empty screen. So, um, yeah, so I have a lot of requests on my channel for a, a process. No, how do I explain it? Sorry, Gemma's walking around in here. <laughs> um, for a video on how I come up with my card ideas. And I have, I've made a list. I've been thinking a lot. I've been thinking really hard about this video and I have made a list of like different things that kind of go into it, but it really is something that's kind of natural for me. So it's hard to explain. And that was also why I put off doing that, um, combining pattern paper video for so long because it's just hard to explain sometimes. I'm not sure if I'm very 
good at explaining certain things. But I did my best, and you guys said, seemed to think that one was really helpful. I got a lot of positive feedback on that video. I was actually really blown away by how supportive you guys were over that video. Um, so I want to do this video for you guys, but I really want to know, like, is there something specific that you're looking for in my responses? Because I really want to make sure I'm answering what you're asking for. So if there's something specific in how I come up with my card ideas that you're looking for, please leave that down in the comments so I can make sure to incorporate into the video. Like I said, you know, I just do this so much now that it comes very naturally to me and sometimes things like that, it's hard to break down into like steps or I don't know, so if there's anything that you can think of, let me know. Otherwise, like I, I said, I did come up with a few different concepts of what goes into like a good card design. So I am working on that video for you guys and I hope to have that for you soon. I really am just not 100% sure on how to tackle it in the best way, I guess. So um, yeah, leave me your feedback. I would really appreciate it. I really want to give you guys what you want, you know, so anyway. <laughs> All right, I've talked long enough and you guys have stared at this stuff long enough. If there's something in here that really interests you, leave me a comment about that down below as well so I can use it sooner rather than later. I really appreciate you guys. I love that you know, through these hauls and the art journaling, when I get to just chat with you guys a little bit more, um, that we're kind of building a really cool community here and just getting to talk with you guys in the comments and getting to know you. And yeah, it's been so wonderful. I really, really enjoy it. And I appreciate each and every one of you for being here for all of the time that you spend with me. You know, you could be doing so many other things and you choose to come back here week after week and spend your time with me. And let me tell you, it means the world. It really, really does. I don't tell you deeply from the bottom of my heart, thank you enough, um, but I so appreciate you guys. You're what keeps me doing this. If it weren't for you guys, you know, there are other things I could be doing too, so. Anyway, I'm glad that we get to spend our time together and just hang out and have fun and chat about crafty things and other life things. And um, yeah, so thanks for being here. Thanks for being my friend. And I really, really love you guys. Talk to you soon. All right. Bye bye. You want to say hi, Joe? You want to say hi? <laughs> Good girl. <laughs>